what is going on everyone welcome to your 79th job tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys a real quick way on how to create files using Java so pretty much if you don't have a file created and we could check for a file using what we learned in the last tutorial then we usually want to run a program like I'm going to be teaching you today or in this tutorial to create a file so the first thing we need to do is import java.util and just go ahead and import everything from there and now let's go ahead and the first thing we need to do is build a formatter variable so we need to make it a final variable variable formatter type x and you can name it whatever you want I just name everything x because I'm too lazy to type anything that's more than one letter but I'm gonna name an x and what this is gonna do a formatter variable pretty much outputs strings to a file and it's pretty much like printf but instead of printing to the screen you're printing to a file so this pretty much outputs a string and let's go ahead and I didn't teach you guys except uh, I didn't teach you guys about exception handling but I'm uh, I'm gonna have to do some right now I'll give you guys the quick one too you pretty much in exception handling you write try and then you write what do you want to try and what we want to try is this we want to set x equal to new formatter like that and this is pretty much the same thing as instantiating the variable in the same line but we want to try to do it down here and as the constructor for this is pretty much the same thing as putting final formatter x equals new formatter and again as a constructor it takes the path of the file so what file do we want to um, output to well I'm gonna make a file called like um, Fred dot text and here's the thing if there is no file to output to then it automatically creates a file on your computer for you so that is how you can create files on your computer on your computer using formatter so again let's go ahead and now that we created a file we want something to show up in the command prompt to tell us that we did it so system out print line and let's go ahead and put you created a file so now if we try this and it's successful then this stuff is gonna happen however if we get an error then and again I'll be going over this try and catch later so don't worry too much if you don't understand it understand it however if you get an error in this an error in exception is the exact same thing they just had to name it exception because they had to be different if you get an error then what do you want to happen system out print line um, you got an error so this is pretty much your own way of making custom errors so you know in the if we had an error before then our program would just start running and we would get a bunch of error messages on our command prompt but this is a way if you um, get an error running your program that your program doesn't just automatically shut down and you can actually handle those errors aka exceptions why they name them exceptions I don't know it's annoying but they did it so I know I didn't teach you guys about try and catch yet but it's pretty much try this code if you get an error do this bam you just learned it in like half a second so what we're gonna do is let me show you guys right here on my computer if I search in here and I search for Fred I don't have anything on my computer named Fred or anything like this but now we're gonna run this program right here and it says you crested a file and I mean to put created but I did it okay make fun of me big deal so did we create a file I mean all we're getting is this command prompt right here I don't believe you created a file Bucky well let's go ahead in this computer right here and search again and now let's search for Fred and make sure you only have one D and bam look at this we now have a file created if we click on the properties it's created C users Greg workspace Bucky and that is pretty much right here and if you're working with Eclipse you can highlight Bucky click refresh and under your JRE systems library you get that Fred text and I know I just talked real fast and you guys didn't really uh, comprehend that probably but oh, I should probably slow it down 
pretty much what I'm saying when you create a file you created it in whatever directory your program ran from so if you have this Java program right in your hard drive then it's going to create this text file right on your hard drive if you run this Java program from a folder called um, like apples or something then it's going to create this text file in a folder called apples and you can also make an absolute path like this and you know well you guys know how to make absolute paths from that pass from last tutorial to create that file where you want it like in a folder or something but again to recap one more time we use this final formatter x variable and what this did is pretty much stored this formatter well it just pretty much created a variable and again the formatter is pretty much a way of putting strings into a file or pretty much writing stuff in a file so right now our file is empty but we're going to be putting stuff in it later and again if it couldn't find the file then it created it and that's why it created it and again if we made an error then Java makes us handle it in some way so that's why I need to teach you guys about try and catch um, you can catch different types of errors like if a user tries to divide by zero or if they are supposed to input a number and they actually input letters or something then those are the kind of errors you usually want to catch and you usually want to send them a message back hey idiot input a number not a letter but for now we'll just uh, output you got an error so that is your real quick tutorial on how to create files we're we'll actually be clearing this up and it'll make sense when we create a program but and also your real quick tutorial on exception handling try and catch so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're a little confused don't worry i'll uh, clear things up for you in the next couple tutorials but again thank you don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time